Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. No, it's okay. And you would have died as well. Yeah. And the other people in there. I really appreciate you joining me tonight. Sapphire Sheikh who was born Michelle Ramsden, and he's 37 years old, was sentenced to life in prison for a, and jailed for a minimum of 14 years for her plot to carry out terrorist attacks on a train station, a hotel, St Paul's Cathedral, and also made references to Big Ben and London Bridge. The counter-terrorism commander in charge of the case said that this is a dark reminder that terrorism is as real as ever. As the lockdown restrictions ease and public places start to open again, make sure to stay vigilant. The old Bailey was told how Michelle, aka Sapphire, was arrested on the 10th of October 2019 following a joint Met Police operation and MI5. So MI5, MI6, this is secret agents. The investigation was carried out by undercover officers that were deployed. Sophia believed one of the officers with whom she spoke with online would be able to get her explosives. She gave another undercover officer two bags which she hoped would be converted into bombs. So she didn't even have the capabilities of being able to commit these atrocities anyway. She told the undercover police officer that she planned to leave one of the bombs inside St Paul's Cathedral and another inside a nearby hotel. She talked about setting off the third in a form of a suicide vest at a train station. She then told police officers that she wanted to carry out an attack similar to the one in Sri Lanka in 2019 in which suicide bombers killed hundreds of people in hotels and a church on Easter Sunday. Following her arrest, she admitted the plan in a police interview. On the 8th of September 2019, she visited St Paul's Cathedral and took photos of inside St Paul's Cathedral. She sent them to the undercover police officer with the word saying, under this dome, I would like to put a bomb. The court heard that she had converted to Islam in 2007 after being impressed by the kindness of a Muslim family. After a time, she sought out people online who had extreme views. She began trying to radicalise them on a telegram channel called Greenbirds. The material showed videos of Daesh terrorists executing people and calling for attacks on locations across the world, including churches in the Netherlands, Big Ben and London Bridge. In one, in one message, a police officer said she declared that she loved to watch graphic terrorist videos. In another, she gloated that mainstream media reported her threats and they didn't realise there was promoting for us. She also told them she was training other people to take over her work after she carried out the attacks in London. On the 21st of February 2020, she pleaded guilty to one count of preparation for terrorist acts, contrary to Section 5 of the Terrorism Act 2007, and one count of the dissemination of terrorist publications, contrary to Section 2 of the Terrorism Act 2006. Commander Smith said that she was dedicated to her extremist beliefs. In addition, she wanted to carry out a sickening attack on UK soil. She hoped to inspire others to implement other attacks after she died. And they wanted to thank the hard work of the police, MI5, that helped to get her in jail. And of course, this is, it's not, it's rare, but it's not the first time that it's been an English woman or person that has been converted to extremist views and actions. The story back in 2017 when the white widow Sally Jones was killed in, in an Islamic airstrike, uh, ITV News reported at the time. She was a former punk rocker and a saleswoman for L'Oreal and she took her 12-year-old son Jojo to Syria to fight with Islamic State. And they believed that she was killed along with her son back in 2017. But she used to also try to recruit other British girls and other nationalities in order to try to get them over there because it may be more appealing to them to see girls from their own country joining these sort of uh, factions. But as both of these stories have shown, is that it's just a terrible ending. They either lost their lives or ended up in prison. It's happened so often now where people are converted to ext extreme views, be that far-right national views or be that 
extremist Islamic views. So I really want to hear what people have to say on this story. And please don't forget to leave your comments in the links below. And I'll try to get back to as many people as possible. Please don't forget to follow us on the socials as well. On Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. At Scar City Studios. Peace.